Welcome to Let's Play Armis. Let's get started. We're going to press the uh, setup button over here, so then uh, press random legal setup. Uh, it's going to take a couple of seconds. It may take up to 20 seconds to load depending on the speed of your computer and if you happen to be playing online it's, it, 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 instead of offline uh, then it might take a little longer uh, depending on your uh, internet connection as well. Uh, you can uh, play Armis at www.armisgame.com or at uh, various other uh, gaming sites like congregate.com or newgrounds.com. Let's see. We want to put our sea vessels close to the uh, the coastal waters and get the mover near the uh, I should I say uh, behind the uh, sea vessels. That setup looks pretty decent. Let's see if it's acceptable. Okay, the computer accepts it and has chosen chosen to switch positions. So I get to move first. Now a lot of times I would want to move my Coast Guard in as quickly as possible. However, because his Marine is here, that makes it one, two, three that easy just to take my uh, Coast Guard without any recourse because it's not covered. So I want to try to get my Marines as uh, uh, to, to cover my uh, pieces as quickly as possible. Now the easiest thing for me to do is to go here. That provides land coverage as well as uh, coastal water coverage in these two areas for um, uh, if he should move his uh, uh, Coast Guard in uh, then I want to take that as quickly as possible and if not if he decides to pr provide some coverage as, as I have for an anticipated move then I want to move another Marine up one two three well I don't have to move him but that would still be a pretty good move to move him up now um, well I want to try to back him off because it's easy for him to come down here and at the same time I still have some fear of this Coast Guard so I'm gonna try to back him up by coming right here Now, I want to keep an eye on his jet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can go here, but he can't, you know, whatever. He, if he travels eight spaces, he gets to land here, but he's got no coverage, so I can end up taking him. And at the same time, whatever's four spaces away, one, two, three, four, would end up coming out. So that would be friendly fire of his own Coast Guard if he chooses to use his jet to land here for no good reason. But the space is open for him but I, I want to keep an eye out anyhow because maybe he might want to you know do something at some point I want to keep an eye out. Now at this point um, we, I, I already said that if I go <clears throat> that if he flies from here to here he ends up taking out whatever is over here. Now that means that if I go and take his Coast Guard, then he can just fly right over and take my Marine. Unless I clog up or block the landing zone. I, in moving my religion, it left open or left free my uh, media with no one next to it. And in that case, it's called a, an isolated media uh, or abandoned media, and so therefore it's uh, forfeited. The media has got to always be reporting either getting news or giving news, and so it has to be next to another piece at all times. 
and this shows you whose move it is and right now it is uh, the computer's move okay so now the computer has a uh, uh, one marine forward close to the coastal waters and if you notice it's one two three spaces away from the coast guard but I have one two ah I only have one that is actually right next to it so if I go here then that focuses in on his uh, 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 Coast Guard but that puts me further away from my own Coast Guard so I might not want to do that but let's see remember if he was able to do that with his uh, jet to protect his Coast Guard then I should be able to do it as well because I didn't move my jet so let's see one two three four five six seven eight so that provides double coverage both with my marine as well as with my jet so that frees me up to be able to move over here because now at that point now I have a double threat on his Coast Guard and instead of using this Marine I'll use this Marine to affect the capture but still providing coverage over here the coverage one two three doesn't extend to here with the jet only with in terms of keeping it protected over here and sometimes the computer does moves that I don't think are that great and in this case he might he might still do it and uh, take the the Coast Guard just so that he can get a Coast Guard a military two military pieces which would be my um, jet and Coast Guard or my Coast Guard as well as my uh... all right now that becomes a different story uh, if I take his If I take his Coast Guard then now we're exchanging and I don't want to do that and if I push my Coast Guard uh, into coastal waters then you know what Now he's got, well, let's see, let's see, he's still protected, double protected by the Marines and the jet, but, and these two are also protected as well, just in different levels of land, different space, landing spaces, but if I move my sub into uh, coastal waters, Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, my mover is now threatened by this Marine. It has coverage by the Army. Yeah, I'm going to do that move. I'm going to try to get into the deep waters if possible. Oh, that's not going to work. That was not a good move. One, two, yeah, that was not a good move. Because now he has two Marines that can focus on once, and I only have single coverage. So I would end up having to have to lose him to bring my other Marine over to provide some additional coverage well I'll do that anyway uh, and provide the coverage at a distance so that I end up uh, provide posing a threat and at the same time um, keeping some level of threat over here should not have done that that was a waste of move if I go here one two three ah that's too far away 
If I go here, one, two, three. Okay, that's good. Let's cover one, uh, one, two, three. That covers. I don't need triple coverage. I want to try to. I may have to give up on the hope of going after his coast guard. But that was a really bad move on my part. For him, what he should do at this point is to back off. And if not, then if he wants to get a little greedy, he might want to go for the, uh, the coast guard. And he'll just be up a, uh, the sub in terms of military. I mean, I basically gave away the, the media piece, so nothing I could have done about that. All right. As I said, I'm still in range of double coverage on my Coast Guard. I'm going to try to get back onto the coast and then uh, push my Coast Guard. Mm. <laughs> good move, good move. Ah. Good move. Let's see what we do here. One, two, three, four. If I go four spaces, then I end up issuing friendly fire to my child. So I, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's cover the Coast Guard and maintain the coverage on the religion which is now under threat by my opponent's president and at the same time I, I still maintain that threat on the Coast Guard. Now I'm gonna have to move that child out the way and I'm gonna push it in the direction of the nuke because as you know the child and the diplomat are the only two pieces that can take uh, a nuke directly. Right, it looks like, see, even if I <clears throat> give up on the notion or the idea of protecting that religion, then his, uh, that uh, president can work his way all the way down, all the way down this row, right to my, my, my helicopter, which would make it really, really bad. So that's not something that I want to do anyway. This aircraft carrier oh, makes it makes this blocks up this area here. Ay ay ay. That one sub move was was a pretty bad move for me. If I use my marine and go here, I cover this and cover this, but then he gets to move his army down a little bit faster, and I probably won't be able to uh, protect. Um, I probably won't be able to protect my coast guard. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so, all right, that's what I'll do. If I'm able to push it in, it, it would still be protected by the Marine. <clears throat> right now, it's not no longer protected by the, uh, by the President, only the mover. So, but if he moves one, two here, then he has one, two to get in, but by that time, I would have already pushed it in and it would still have coverage one two three the but uh, being here all right so he's covering that that's good for me all right I'm in this is covered now the Coast Guard is threatening his uh, marine 
Now, because I was so quick to do what I did, I didn't look to see about his helicopter and his jet. I'm still in a good position, and but that's lucky. You gotta always look before you move. And in that case, I didn't look before I moved. I was just so worried that I would lose my <clears throat> Coast Guard that I didn't think about it too deeply. All right, so now my president is under threat, um, but my uh, I can use my let's see here. All right, this might this might actually work. A lot of times, with a combination of a army and executive, you're able to trap your opponent's uh, marine. If he chooses to move in these two spaces here, I have a really good chance of trapping. He won't go here because he knows that my my uh, president will be able to take it but he might go here his better move is really to 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 retreat but the system uh, doesn't normally want to retreat it wants to try to move forward and closer to my my flag because that's the object of the game but in so doing he falls into a trap of his own and in this case as you can see uh, he's doing almost exactly what I wanted him to do I'm still covering I have the president and army are covering each other as long as I stay away from this line because this <coughs> army is able to move two spaces one two so if I'm able to get here then I might be able to uh, uh, one, two, so you can go here, and that will end up being the trap that I think that I might need. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that, that did it. He, he got trapped. Let that be a warning to you not to uh, try to run away from the uh, army president combination. Don't try to outrun it in the expanse area. Outrun it going closer to home. Get some backup. Now that brings the game closer to even. I've got two of his marines, he's got one marine and one submarine. To me, I feel uh, as if I'm empowered at this point, and so I'm going to try to take a couple of liberties. Uh, the first one being, um, I want to try to get that Coast Guard, well he backed his mover away from it, so now I should have very little to fear. So at this point, I want to pose a threat on his president. And again, keep an eye on his uh, air force to make sure that to keep them away from me. expect that okay all right now my objective is to uh, try to bring my my uh, marine from the far east bring it closer to the center of the board and then start advancing uh, towards my opponent's reserve and flag. Keeping an eye 
on this area here, these two are the most powerful, and then you also have the um, the nuke. And again, the child and the diplomat are the only two that can take it directly. So I'm going to probably try to move those out uh, pretty soon. Now the only piece that can directly take the diplomat is the opponent's uh, executive. So if I'm able to take out, I already have his vice president, if I'm able to take out his president, then that means nothing will be able to take out my diplomat. They'll only be able to block it. And so, um, you know, I, I'll keep an eye to try to get that as well. Let's see. Go, if I go here, well, if I go here, I'm out of the the uh, flight path of both the jet and the <coughs> helicopter. But at this point, I'm, I have a threat on the helicopter. And if I get the helicopter, then I'm close to the reserve. Okay, even though it was here and it flew over four spaces, the jet cannot take the diplomat, and so therefore, uh, it was even even though it did a flyover. If it was a different piece, it would effectively take out through friendly fire his own piece. But because the military cannot take the diplomat, that's why there was no friendly fire in this occasion. Now. <clears throat> Just because I wasn't able to get the helicopter, I am able to get one, two, three, his mover. Now, in taking his mover, then he's not able to uh, traditionally move his sea vessels. Because none of the sea vessels were already moved, because none of them were moved from the beginning of the game, then that means he's not going to be able to move his reserves. One of the prerequisites moving your reserves is that all of your friendly military must have made an initial move or taken off the board. So at this point, by me taking the mover, he won't be able to move his uh, sea vessels. However, through friendly fire, he's able to take them out. But that will have to be one at a time. And in that case, that's one, two, three turns. At this point, he has to protect this piece right here. And the best way for him to do is to take this executive and either issue friendly fire to the jet or issue friendly fire to the diplomat so that he can have some protection. If he does it to the diplomat, then the helicopter will provide some level of coverage. Because he didn't do it, now I can take his reserve and unless he can do something to take my marine, the game is going to be over on my next move. If his nuke was over here, then he'd be able to activate it and take out a two space range. If it was here, one two space range, it would take out all of this from here, one two, one two, it would take out everything in this box, including the major threat to his flag. But because he wasn't able to do that, the game is over. Thank you. Have a good day.